The other fight on the card, you got Sebastian Fedor, Tim Zhu, right? 11 days, 11 days notice to switch opponents, Thurman got hurt, Yeah. right? You see um, Tim Zhu fly out Mike Fox immediately, Yeah. and then they get to work. Who does this scenario favor? Tim Zhu? Fandora. I think the scenario favors Fandora because Fandora was scheduled to fight somebody else on the same as that car. So therefore, he was already getting ready. The thing is, he was fighting a guy that was more the same size as the guy he's fighting. The point? Mm -hmm. Tim Zhu was getting ready for a guy that's standing about 5'9", 5'10". Now you're fighting a 6'6", six, 6'7". Six, six, Thurman Little Dude. <laughs> so, so that's what I'm saying. You get ready to fight a guy at six seven now. Now it's like, oh shit. Now, I mean, so I'm gonna say the edge go to front door. In this situation, will you be shocked if front door gets the W? Because seems like everybody's just running away with, oh, Tim Zhu gonna stop front door. Like you know, Tim Zhu's guaranteed to win this. Would I be shocked? No, I wouldn't be shocked. Because like I said, it was a surprise. Or it may not have been, but to us, it was a surprise. Nobody saw this coming. Um, Tim Zhu. Tim Zhu, we never seen in a situation like this, so we don't know. We, we haven't seen the best of Tim Zhu because we ain't seen nobody bring that out just yet. we seen him step on the gas, yes, but we talking about war. I think this is getting ready to be a war. You know what I mean? I don't, I'm not saying I think Fandora will completely win the fight. But I'm saying, I think it, the fight does favor him because of the way it happened. Like you said, he had to call somebody nice, somebody with, with the same type of height to even get a look right before the fight. He he really in the wind down stages. But now, damn, I gotta call Mike Fox and get him out here just so I can even see what this shit look like. Shout out to Mike Fox, man. Mike, Mike Fox everywhere you need him to be. <laughs> yeah, why not? Mike Fox. And Mike Fox is a hard working dude, so you know you're not about to get no bullshit work. You know, you know what I'm saying? But I don't know. I think Tim Zhu, I, do, I think Tim Zhu keep it, he's doing a good job of keeping his cool, but really I think his mind is racing. But this is some crazy shit. It's the way this happened. Fight week's finally here, Jay. Roley, the pit bull, yeah. right? Roley said, you know, well, the, the reporter asked him, you know, how's he going to handle Pitbull? Yeah. Roley said, you know, what do you do when a dog bites you? Put him down. Can Roley put down the Pitbull? He could. I'm, I'm not going to say he can't. Uh, he could. Any man any man is capable of hurting another man or getting knocked out. So, hmm. I mean, I get it. But I'm sticking, I'm sticking with my pick. I got Pitbull in four rounds. Four rounds? Yeah. Why four, G? Tell me, tell me why not. Like, like when you look at the two styles, it's not about to be no jabbing match. It's not. It's not about to be a scoring match. It's, just, it's gonna be a fight. And he doesn't disrespect the pit bull enough to make pit bull go crazy. Could, like I said, he could knock pit bull out, but I think it's gonna be the other way around. I think pit bull. I think the, the brawl going to start after the first minute of the first round or within the first minute, and then we're going to see a brawl all the way up until the fourth. I think Roley going to get knocked out with a, with a big shot. This Pitbull first fight at 40. Yeah. Roley's had one. He didn't look spectacular. Right. Right. Who does the weight favor? Never know. Pitbull, not a, he's a short guy. He's not a small guy. You know what I'm saying? It's the difference, it's the difference between short and small. Um, Pitbull is very powerful, very aggressive. Um, but his defense, his defense is how could you say? What's the word I'm looking for? His defense is dece deceiving because people think because he got his hands tight and here he's more like a Mike Tyson. But that's why I make it harder to hit him. It's hard to hit him with a clean shot on his chin, or hard to hit him with a clean shot at all because he's short, compact, and then he's moving in short spaces, taking his time, ripping at you. And you really don't want to exchange with a guy like that. You can, but chances are you getting the better half of that, you know what I mean? 
And I like it. I just don't see Roly being able to withstand it too much. I think I think Roly is a, is a, is, a, is an okay fighter. I think he has he's great when it comes to building a fight, but seeing him in there with a pit bull. I don't see him being comfortable and outboxing Pitbull and then knocking him out or anything. I don't see that. I see him getting nervous because Pitbull is just, just going at him with total disrespect and trying to knock him out and actually getting to that point. I just feel like Willie wouldn't be able to recover. Fight week's finally here, Jay. Roley, the Pitbull, yeah. right? Roley said, you know, well, the, the reporter asked him, you know, How's he gonna handle Pitbull? Yeah. Roley said, you know, what do you do when a dog bites you? Put him down. Can Roley put down the Pitbull? He could. I'm not gonna say he can't. Uh, he could. Any man, any man is capable of hurting another man or getting knocked out. So, hmm. I mean, I get it, but I'm sticking. I'm sticking with my pick. I got Pitbull in four rounds. Four rounds? Yeah. Why four, dude? Tell me, tell me why not. Like, like when you look at the two styles, it's not about to be no jabbing match. It's not. It's not about to be a scoring match. It's, just, it's gonna be a fight. And he doesn't disrespect the pit bull enough to make pit bull go crazy. Could, like I said, he could knock pit bull out, but I think it's gonna be the other way around. I think pit bull. I think the, the brawl gonna start after the first minute, of the first round. Or well, within the first minute, and then we're gonna see a brawl all the way up until the fourth. I think Roley gonna get knocked out with a with a big shot. This Pitbull first fight at 40. Yeah. Roley's had one, he didn't look spectacular. Right. Right. Who does the weight favor? You never know. Pitbull not a he's a short guy, he's not a small guy. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. it's, the difference, it's the difference between short and small. Um, Pitbull is very powerful, very aggressive. Um, but his defense, his defense is, how could you say? What's the word I'm looking for? His defense is dece deceiving because people think, because he got his hands tight, and he here, he's more like a Mike Tyson. But that's why I make it harder to hit him. It's hard to hit him with a clean shot on his chin, or hard to hit him with a clean shot at all because he's short, compact, and then he's moving in short spaces, taking his time, ripping at you. And you really don't want to exchange with a guy like that. You can, but chances are you getting the better half of that. You know what I mean? Nah, I like it. I just don't see Roley being able to withstand it too much. I think, I think Roley is, a, is, a, is, a, is, a, is an okay fighter. I think he has, he's great when it comes to building a fight, but seeing him in there with a pit bull, I don't see him being comfortable in outboxing pit bull and then knocking him out or anything. I don't see that. I see him getting nervous because pit bull just, just going at him with total disrespect and trying to knock him out and actually getting to that point. I just feel like Willie wouldn't be able to recover.